Welcome back. Today we're gonna do a review of the Entry Grade Strike Gundam. So here's the details on the side of the box. So it says there number 6610. So let's compare it with the different grades of boxes. So here's what's inside. So it's only packaged in one plastic bag and one manual. Okay, let's open up. So here is the red runners, the yellow runners, red runners again, the blue runner, and the stun, the gray parts, the white armor parts, another gray part with the rifle on it, and other inner parts and armor parts again so here's a close-up so the plastic it's quite i would say okay so here is a close-up for the blue part for the runner so you can see so let's start building this so let's start off with the head first. So let's remove all the parts that we're gonna need to build the head. Okay, let's remove the knobs. Now building the head. Okay, the eyes. See the yellow part? And the yellow fin on the head. Then the white fin. So you can see there there's a gap there so we won't close completely. Now for the torso. Okay, let's build the torso. Put the front armor, then the back armor. And then the gray part on the back. So let's remove some excess plastic. So you're gonna find those all around the... So yeah, we ready for that. So here's the torso. And as you can see, there's like a cap there. Now for the arms. So here's the arm let's build the hands so there's a massive gap there as you can see yep that's a big gap okay Let's put the hand together. Now for the shoulders. Yep, there's a gap again there. Okay, 
Okay. This one's done. Looking okay. So here's another arm part. So I built it. Now for the waist part. So I didn't bother cutting the front skirt. I just put it together. Now putting the back skirt. Okay. Then the side skirt. So yeah, pretty standard. Now for the leg. So the leg uh, it's quite really challenging. You will see later what I mean. So there it won't. So let's put the gray part. Yep, there's a massive gap there as you can see in the gray part. Put on the legs here. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, it really took me quite some time to figure this out because of this, like what they call the C-clip joint. It's really not good. Well, for this case, so as you can see, I was already a little bit frustrated about it. So, but I didn't give up on it. So, as you can see, the, the clip there, uh, there's already stress marks and it's about to break because of the repeatedly putting on back and forth. See how hard it is to press them together. Now as for the foot. Okay, let's put it them together. The foot and the legs as a one unit. Now this one's done already. Yep. There's some um, details from there that is not from the original. Yep, that one also. Yep. I don't think that's from the original one. Now let's work on the beam rifle. Pretty straightforward, two parts and one scoop. Yeah, that's about it. So there's a massive gap there again. Now for the shield. So I like how the shield was uh, color separated compared even to the high grade one. The high grade one uh you still need to paint some parts here's the shield pretty straightforward and the beam rifle okay so let's put everything together here we go the arms here's the waist the legs the shield and the beam rifle. Cool. So let's put the head and to torso together. Now for the arms. Other arm. The waist. The leg. 
and the other leg and the beam rifle and the shield so we're just gonna put the connector here in the back there you go so let's check the articulations So as for the head, this goes up to this much, then it tilts forward, yeah, up to that much. As for the arm, it can bend quite more than a 90 degree angle. Yeah, quite a nice uh, surprise for an entry grade for that articulation. For the ab crunch, yeah, it goes this much in the front. And on the back, yeah, that much. Yeah, quite impressive for an entry grade. For the front skirt, yeah, nothing special about it, so I didn't cut it to two pieces, I just made it into a one piece. Now for the leg, so as you can see here, it only bends this much because it's restricting the armor on the back of the leg, see it's, it's being restricted, so it's hitting there, so it won't bend that much only a little but as for the second joint it can bend much better so up to that much at the back as for the foot can go down this much yeah can go there as much as like that so it looks like a uh, slippers now then side to side for the foot quite an impressive articulation There you go. So overall, if you look at the kit, it's nice. Okay, so let's check if the backpack, backpack of the high grade strike will fit on the entry grade one. So this backpack is from the high grade high strike Gundam. Okay, let's see. Oh, looks nice and it fits. looking good so the only problem with here is very loose so here's a comparison with the high grade one but this one's kind of I customized it already so it's not really an accurate representation of the high grade but just a, a contrast so you get an idea So about the head, I forgot to mention that as you can see here, the gray part on the head, uh, it's not protruding much and when you put the front armor on the head, uh, it turns out to be hollow as you can see here. The, the, the kit is quite uh, surprising for an integrate and yeah I like it 
as for the quality uh, i would suggest that uh, you should try the, the the bandai one first before buying this one because i think the experience is much better when you start with the bandai one compared to this one so maybe if you're done working on the bandai one and you're still curious you can try this one for yeah out of curiosity but overall the kit is quite nice uh it's gonna be like a challenge to make it really good but out of the box it's already already good so yeah that's about it and let me know what you think in the comments down below and i'll see you next time